Okay, folks, so welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I was actually sick for about four weeks with the worst case of Bally Belly that I've ever seen or heard of in my life. And if you don't know about Bally Belly, well, do some Google research, some Google searching, because trust me, if you want to come to Bali or if you want to travel there at some point in your life, you should know about it. It's practically living hell, in my opinion. Anyways, today we're going to be discussing the web browser that is changing everything in the world of web browsers. Now, if you haven't heard about it, the name of this new web browser is called Arc. I say it's new in quotations because it's been around since last year, I believe, but it's just improved exponentially since I first got to try it out. Now, just as a quick reminder, you're here because I'm Fernando Anselmi. This channel is all about productivity and living as a digital nomad, living our best lives as nomads and also staying productive and happy while enjoying our journey. So let's get right into ARC and here we are. Now, the first thing you should know about ARC is that it has a great team and a passionate team behind it. Then the next two things that I would say really mark the difference for ARC are how productivity and customization focused the browser is. So let's get right into some of my favorite parts of ARC with our productivity section here, and that is the creation of spaces. So if you look at the tab on the left here, you will see that it's all green and that it says personal on the top. This basically means that this is my personal space and you can have several spaces, as many as you would like. For instance, I have another one that's called my workspace and you can see it here. I have ChatGPT open on this space, but not on my personal workspace. So this is a great way to just differentiate our tabs and group them in different places. Now I have a third space called my content creation space. And here you can also see that I save all of my content creation tabs and links that I want. So just to give you a quick overview, all of these things that are here upwards of this bar are basically bookmarked tabs. They work the same way they would do in Chrome where you choose to bookmark something on your toolbar or on your favorites and you can basically put them anywhere you want in between your spaces. Also, R gives us the option to create folders, which you can see I use a lot. I basically use folders to save everything that I want to do at some point or read or purchase. And you can see I use some folders for my freelance in here. I use some folders for my trips for, in, well, for instance, I'm in the Asia trip right now. So I created a folder here for Indonesia, just basically with co-working spaces and stuff. And this is just having your bookmarks, but way more organized than before. So this is just a huge time saver. And also remember that whatever tabs we open in one space remain there. So for instance, if I'm working on ChatGPT, something here, and then I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to open up a YouTube video to have some music playing on the background. I can just slide over to my personal space, open YouTube here, open my video, and then go back to my workspace. It won't be here. It won't be distracting me as an open tab. So this is super cool. And that one of the reasons I love Arc so much. Now, another reason that I love Arc is that most of our open tabs will auto close in a period of time. So the I think the default period of time for tabs closing is about 12 hours. So if I just leave this Google tab open here and I don't do anything on it for the next 12 hours, then when I wake up, it will be closed and archived. Apart from all these tabs that you have here, you can have some favorite tabs pinned up here. And you can see I have both my business email and my personal email here and my calendar as well. Um, this is Sunday, so I have no events, thank God. But yeah, this is, these are the tabs that I use the most often. So that's why I have them pinned up here on my favorites. Now, I believe that you can have upwards of five or six favorite tabs. Now, I wouldn't recommend having a ton because it might get all convoluted, but this works for me. And then up here, you got your most used extensions. And this is something that you can customize as well. You're just simply, the, simply pinning them there and you do this from the control center. So these are all my extensions that I have. And then you, to pin those, the ones that, would, that you want the most, you just click this green thing here. And that's pretty much how it works. Oh, I want to pin one password for sure. And I don't know. Oh, maybe this screenshotting thing. I don't know. But yeah, you can kind of see how that works, guys. And then another standout feature that really changes the game for Arc is the command bar. So instead of going to your URL boring top bar in Google Chrome or in Safari, what you get in Arc is the command bar. You just 
type a quick shortcut, in my case, my command bar opens with command E, and then you can paste any URL or search from here directly. Now, this is useful, of course, but you can do some other stuff as well. So for instance, let's say I wanna search YouTube directly from here. I just type YouTube, click tab, and then I'm searching directly within YouTube. Best songs 2023. And that I will open up YouTube like that. You can also do other things like let's say maps, and this will open up Google Maps, uh, Spain. And then it will open up directly in Google Maps. Now the same thing applies to just web browser in general. I can go from here to Gmail, open it up, simple as that. You can also directly enter settings here, which is incredibly useful because you may want to switch some of these keyboard shortcuts. So everything on Arc lives on this settings panel and you can tweak it as you want. I change a bunch of the shortcuts around. You can change the time that it takes for your tabs to auto close and a lot of other things that I'm not getting into for this video. But let's continue down the productivity route with another great art feature. Now, let's say I wanna do a split screen with tabs. In previous browsers, you would have to open different windows and then line them up together and it would be just a huge mess. With Arc, you can just pull a tab within another tab, just like this, and do what it's called a split mode. So, as you can see, I quickly created a split of YouTube. I can actually switch how much I want of both tabs. I can create and configure my split view options. For instance, if I wanna create this vertical, I can just do it like that. Again, everything is fully customizable and you can just separate a split tab such like this. So we're back to our stock now you can also create a triple split and you can see how that goes it's amazing i think everything's working perfectly you get three things and you can also hide this bar if you want more space of course with a shortcut as simple as that and it's really amazing what you can do with an inbuilt split mode screen and i just love it like that now, let's go over some of the AI features that Arc brings to the table. And this is just another great reason and one of those standout features that make you prefer this browser over others out there. And in my opinion, some of the reasons why I think Arc is changing the game. So let's go over a Google search, top songs in 2023. Now, one of the great features that Arc Max gives you, and Arc Max is basically the AI kind of suite for Arc, is just being able to hover any result in Google and getting an instant summary of the web page. So you can see here we get an instant summary of everything that's going on in this link. Same thing if I scroll down here. Just takes a second to load, and this is AI basically doing all the work for you. So it is just a great time saver. You can wait before committing to any tabs by just going there, hovering, and getting that page summary. It works a lot of times when I'm looking out for stuff and I just want information, especially if you're doing some Wikipedia searching or stuff like that. Well, I don't know if anybody does anymore, but yeah, that helps out a ton. The second feature you get with Arc Max is the Command F option within pages. So let's go here to the top 100 best songs of 2023 and we're gonna search for a name like we would usually do. So I'm just gonna do Command F and let's say Miley, if there's Miley Cyrus in here, I don't know if it is, and it will show you, okay, yeah, Miley Cyrus. So this is simple as you would do in any page. Oh, Miley Cyrus flowers, interesting. But you can also use AI to answer any question you may have based on the page and based on, command, uh, on the Command F shortcut. So let's say, ask something like, what, oh my God, what Miley Cyrus songs are included on this list? And then you will just type ask and the AI will do all the reading for you and come back with a great answer. So we have number four, there's one Miley Cyrus song included on this list and it, it is num number four, Miley Cyrus flowers. So let's go ahead and find them page. Oh, I don't know, it didn't work that way. 
But yeah, you can see that it's still a work in progress, but it works well most of the time. Another small feature that Arc Max gives you is the ability to rename downloads. And this is extremely useful if you're just constantly downloading stuff. So let's go ahead and download this invoice right here. You can see that the name is invoice 57, uh, 14 something. And if I just click download, it will actually download this and rename the file from the initial name, which was a really long name, to a more user-friendly name. Now, it usually works better if we're not working with huge numbers like we're here, but I guess the AI believed that the numbers were important for the download. So these are just small ArcMax features, and you can actually see all of them. If you open up the preferences right here, you get instant links, you get ask on page, five second previews, tidy tab titles, tidy downloads and chat GPT in the command bar. Oh, this is interesting. So if I just open up the command bar right here, uh, let's go back to our Google chat GPT. Okay. And you can just do a search within chat GPT from here. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff that make Arc stand out from the competition. Now let's wrap it up with some of the customization options that you get within Arc. Of course, you can choose the colors for all of your spaces. These gradients that you see right here, I chose all of them so you can pretty much go to your content creation tab right here, click here, and then just go to theme, I believe. And there you go. You get to play a little bit with the colors here, which is pretty cool. If you want to make it different color, I want it red, hot red. You get to use night mode. You get to use sunny mode. And I don't know what this thing is. Uh, automatic appearance. Okay, not cool for me. But yeah, just customize it to your heart's content. You can add a little bit of these grain as well. Oh, this is the grain, I believe. Uh huh. If you want grain back there, or if you don't want any grain. And this is, I don't know what this is, but I want it all the way here. Uh, oh, this is changing the gradient. Okay, so that's how it works. But yeah, guys, our customizations are easy as that. You can also change all the shortcuts, as I already mentioned, just go here and go to shortcuts. Oh, my bad. Keyboard shortcuts, and it will open up all of the arc shortcuts as I've already changed a bit. So you let me know, are you sold on arc yet? Do you see why it's just changing the game completely? To me, the ability to just split tabs within the same browser, no need to open new windows, or just the multiple spaces that you get to organize and customize your tabs and your pin tabs within folders, is just creating a productivity space that it's unrivaled in the world of web browsers. If you're hooked on Arc, I promise you that it will only continue to get better. As I said, the team behind Arc is amazing, and as a preview, I'm going to be doing a video of the Arc browser app for iOS. If you have an iPhone, you can go ahead and download it now. It's basically the same Arc experience that you get on desktop, but it is for iOS at the moment only. You can find Arc on both the Mac OS stores and the Windows store in a beta way. I think it's in beta right now. And I'm sure that all the Windows users will love it because it's really changed my life. Now, guys, as I said, I'm coming back to making videos after my little hiatus of sickness. And I'm super excited to get into that. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. They'll help me out a ton as I'm starting out on YouTube. If you want more tech tips and productivity tips, as always, this is the place to be. I'm Fernando. Nice to see you and talk later.